In a bid to return to the sweet path enjoyed by sugar factories in the country, the government is set to pump over 40 billion shillings to revive the ailing industry. We approve the writing off of up to Kenya shillings 39.7 billion owed to the sugar development levy fund by sugar companies earmarked for privatization. Writing off debts owed to the Sugar Development Levy Fund, which was established in 1992, will automatically set the stage for the privatization of five sugar factories in the country. Further, the sector continued to receive additional finance support from the Sugar Development Fund in the last 24 months as follows. Kenya Shillings 1.4 billion was disbursed to purchase equipment for use by nine operating mills. A further, Kenya shillings 1.2 billion was dispersed for cane development, and another Kenya shillings 2 billion was set aside for affordable credit and grants, and Kenya shillings 1.5 billion was allocated to rehabilitate the sugar mills. The five sugar farms slated for privatization are Nzoia Sugar in Bugoma County, South Nyanza Sugar in Migori County, Chemilil Muoroni, and Miwani in Kisumu County. President Kenyatta, who was speaking during the official opening of the Nairobi International Trade Fair, also spelled out measures put in place to combat the looming El Nino rains. We encourage farmers in arid and semi-arid areas to take advantage of the situation and plant more crops. Next, for the farmers in the Upper Rift and Western regions, you are encouraged to harvest early and improve your handling, drying and storage practices to prevent post-harvest losses. Take advantage of the mobile maize dryers in your counties and at the NCPB depots, and my government will subsidize drying costs. Denis Otieno, Citizen Weekend.